Let's see what Dirk on. See, y'all probably don't know what Dirk on, but guess what, you guys? I know exactly what Dirk on. You probably don't know what Dirk on right now, but by the time the end of this video, you exactly know exactly what little Dirk is on. But we ain't even tripping on that. That ain't even what we tripping on. What we tripping on is this here, you guys. I'm finna show you guys exactly what little Dirk is on. Now watch this. Everybody probably has seen this video millions of times. You see what I'm saying? Because it has millions of views, you see. And everybody was paying attention at the time because, you know, this is right when Mr. King Bond lost his life. Now that y'all see Dirk in the beginning flashing the OTF Nooski chain. Strange, right? Right after Vaughn lost his life, Dirk first interview, I mean, Dirk first Instagram live was with the chain that the big Nooski chain that he has on right there. You know, Dirk, when you was in the garage, right, and you had the red drop top colors or something up in there, the 442 or something like that of that nature, right, sir? See, but Perk, this is where we run into a major problem, at, sir. And you may be saying, a major problem? What is you talking about, sir? Okay, I'm going to tell you. See, this is where things going to take a turn for the worst for you. You see what I'm saying? Because I've been told you that you had Quando Rondo to take that chain off of Vaughn's neck. So is that where Vaughn O'Block chain went? It went back to Icebox, but Icebox made you that chain first. And then you made sure that Vaughn, um, that they got Vaughn chain back because you sold it back to him, right? For the Nooski chain. You see, you did something because you popped out with the Nooski chain and already proved that you told Quando them to take the chain. And this is why if anybody in their right mind with common sense go back and we look at the Vaughn video, this is why Quando was still on Vaughn even after the shot went off because anybody know in their right mind if two people fight and then the shot go off, they're going to scatter. You see what I'm saying? Fight is over with. They run separate ways. So that lie right there, they can keep that one right there in the bucket of cotton picking lies. Well, since they're telling cotton picking lies, oh, well, since Dirk's telling cotton picking lies, you guys, let's start picking these cotton picking lies apart. And I'm going to tell y'all what Dirk is doing. Now, this is what Dirk is doing, you guys, in this video. This video was straight for a purpose. It was for Dirk to paint the narrative. Now, I was telling you guys the whole time I kept saying Dirk was paying the narrative and Dirk was behind the madness that was going on with Vaughn and the Vaughn and Duck case went together. Remember I told y'all it was Operation Vaughn and Duck. Those two cases go together. But what was Dirk's part with this video right here? Dirk's part was to set the narrative up for the FB. G Ducks slain. You see, because once Duck get, Dirk get to talking about it in the video, this puts a certain picture in the um, a lot of people's head, like the impressionable, impressionable minds to make um, a certain situation seem a certain way and paint a certain picture about six guys. And those six guys is the old block six. Now, I may have lost you a little bit on that, but check this out. Now you're finna see what I'm talking about. Now, you guys, when Dirk started this video off, Dirk said, I always keep my K-I-L-L-E-R-S's with me, hitters, you know, but he said the word iller. You feel me? He said, I always have my iller with me. You see, so when Dirk started the video off of Pooh Shiesty, and he says, I always have my illers with me, you know, everybody going to be wanting to see who's with Dirk, you see what I'm saying? And no, you guys, this is about the time I was um, doing the FBG Duck case and the Vaughn case at the same time, and I kept screaming, Mama Duck, go get the video so the police won't set none of the guys up or none of the little fellas from the wreck. But they knew who was getting set up, when he was getting set up, where he was getting set up, and how he was getting set up. Okay. okay. So allegedly, you guys, Dirk goes everywhere with his illers, right? Dirk goes everywhere with his illers. So I'm, um, I'm just curious to know who Dirk Illers is that he's there with. You see what I'm saying? I'm curious to know. So let's see. Yeah, we don't like so that kind of sounds a little familiar. Sounds like a scene that I heard of, like the scene that was made up on social media. Because Dirk said they don't like, his his buddies don't like, his hitters don't like slow it on hits. 
them switches fast. Wasn't they telling us it was like rapping? It happened so quickly, this and that. And there was so many gunshots. It sounded like a machine gun. It was 16 shots. And then they got away quick. So they're going real fast. So bear with me, you guys. But it sounds like Dirk is talking about a certain situation. Throw that mask on when you jump out first, you better back. Ain't gonna lie to city how with strikers, they don't last. Turn up. Roll that mask on when you jump out, be you better blast. The city hot on strikers, they don't last. Kind of strange that you talking about throw the mask on, jump out, and blast. And then you're saying the city is hot on strikers. For those who don't know what strikers is, those are stolen cars. Now, check this out. Now, he's talking about a car in there, a mask, and jumping out. They don't they give y'all a little deja vu of what they were saying about this alleged case that they lied or move up never made up, but it gives you more deja vu when that YouTuber AK say, when Muwap them saw Duck in the car and they jumped out shooting, it seems like that's the same story that Dirk told, um, that they all concocted and Dirk told AK to say, because you remember what AK said, hey, track, is that you? Is that you, track? I told you, I didn't. we didn't have to set Muwap up for that end. He's talking about Dirk. You see what I'm saying? Basically, the YouTuber AK said that Dirk was the one that told him to set Muwap up, but it's a no-brainer. I already knew that, you see, and I was yelling it before he got discombobulated and set it. Oh, actually, I'm the reason he got discombobulated and set it. When you pop in with your killers, you better check your game. What? There you go again. Talking about the illers. When you pop in with your illers, you better check your cash or whatever. So I'm just curious to see what illers he have with him. You come out now and act your gun, little boy. You dumb as fuck. Dumb. Ain't no quick run to the store. They pop out value. You told- now, let's get super surgical and let me show y'all what Dirk did. Now, a lot of guys probably don't know who Dirk was talking about in that part right there, that verse right there. Dirk was talking about a Pacific person. See, I'm getting super surgical, you guys, right now. So I want you guys to listen to these bars, what he just said, and see if you can figure out for a couple minutes, a couple seconds, see if you can figure out who you think Dirk's talking about, because Dirk is talking about a Pacific person. Person. Now those bars Dirk said, he said, you come outside without your gun, little boy, you dumb as up. Ain't no creep rounds to the stove, folks, them pop out, fire you up. See, now, who do y'all think Dirk's talking about? Because I told y'all in the beginning that Dirk is painting the narrative because they have a big play that's going to go down that's going to involve certain people, and those certain people happen to be with Dirk in that video shoot. Now I'm finna tell y'all who Dirk talking about who that Pacific person is. That Pacific person, you guys, is can't get right. See, but he didn't say restaurant, he says store. He's talking about can't get right when can't get right and then went up there to when can't get right went up to the restaurant and he said trying to make a creep run to the store. Folks then pop out, fire you up. You see what I'm saying? And Dirk's putting that narrative out of there because we already know who they were saying was the ones who drilled Mr. Can't Get Right Out and those people that they were saying happened to be people from old block. Now, here's the other part. Did you see when Dirk spit the bars and then he said, folks, and them jump out, fire you up, and then he said, brow, like that? Now, let me get super surgical with you. Do y'all remember Vaughn's problem video? Now, when Problems started, do y'all hear when Problems video? If you didn't hear it, go back and listen to Von Problem video. When the video first started, that's Dirk on the phone. When he told him, some, yeah, man, I need that done tonight, man. I mean, man, yeah, we got to give, I got 100K. I need that done tonight. Guess what, y'all? This was right after Can't Get Right lost his life. This is why they were saying Von Problem video was Von on their bait. The problem video, you know what Von said? They catching bodies for me. They catching bodies for me. Please don't get body for me. You see what I'm saying? So this is why they was trying to hook that to the can't get right body, right? Now, in the problems video, Von with Von said, 
um, get out the way when we come through. You still in the way and I slump you. And then he he flips some more bars and then Vaughn said, Brrrah! Vaughn pointed like he pointed his finger towards his head like he was shooting himself. That's the same sound. Dirt made. See, so what I'm telling y'all Dirk is doing on this video, this is right after Vaughn lost his life. He's painting a picture of Vaughn being this, this hit of Vaughn putting out hits and um, Vaughn's life, Vaughn is gone already, right? But in this video, Dirk has none other than Moo-Wop with him. You see what I'm saying? Remember I kept telling y'all Dirk was distracting Moo-Wop, keeping him around and all this. And this is why they was doing those videos with Moo-Wop and all that stuff after Vaughn lost his life because Dirkman was painting this picture as Moo-Wop was the next man up, like Moo-Wop was the next biggest killer since Vaughn. You see what I'm saying? And he started off describing the same thing AK said about riding up on Duck, Dirk talking about cars, AK talking about Moo-Wop in the car, Dirk talking some rapid fire and all this stuff like that. He's talking about the can't get right body. He's talking about the can't get right body. You see what I'm saying? See, he's painting a picture as O Block as being these killers and hitters. And let me show you why it's 100% proof. Because I'm going to tell you this here. I bet you don't see Dirk up there saying that his hitters is OTF. You see what I'm saying? He's not putting none of his guys on front street who he's trying to make seem like all the killers is. Is old block, and this is why Dirk was allowing Vaughn to rap about certain things, and this is why I told y'all Vaughn was riding the fame train on some of those bodies because Dirk was letting him see Vaughn going ride with what like Dirk doing. So Dirk, because Dirk brought him into this little rap stuff, so he figured like, okay, Dirk got the master plan, so I at least gotta you know follow up um, what he's doing and all this stuff till Vaughn caught on that Dirk was trying to take him out the box. Because when it, like a body happened with, with somebody, Dirk are okay it with Vaughn basically saying like this. Not basically saying, yeah, it's okay to do it. Like, but basically saying it like this. Hey, yeah, you know, that's the home rap about it. It ain't going to do nothing but make you more money. You're going to get more streams. And this is what he had in Vaughn's head. And this is why Vaughn was riding the fame train on some of those bodies. And that's why Vaughn said in Grandson, all these unsolved bodies who you think they trying to blame. Vaughn got the catching on to what was going on with Dirk and Mimo 600. No, that's why he put that in his video, that part with Vaughn walking through Obak with the blue coat on. And Vaughn, like, if it's up there, just say it, man. Just say it's up there. You already know how I get down. He was talking about Dirk. And this is why Vaughn had to get stopped at the airport so they can get Vaughn's ID and get his address. And I ain't just saying this. Vaughn said it. Vaughn said, these people stopped me and got my address. He he didn't say they got his face. He didn't say they got his name. He didn't say they got nothing. He said they got my address. You see what I'm saying? And guess what Vaughn knew? That Dirk, Caleb B, or none of them knew where Vaughn stayed at. That's why Caleb B said, yeah, I went over there and got Vaughn's shoes and all that stuff like that. After we found out where he lived, at, I went over there, got Vaughn's shoes and all that stuff, and his clothes. I got some of his clothes, and I got his hard drive, and y'all know who I gave the hard drive to. She gave the hard drive to Little Dirk. Little Dirk gave the hard drive to Empire, who Vaughn was signed to. And this is why Caleb B was given a Range Rover. That's the honest to God truth how Kayla B got that range over. Y'all, listen, this is how Dirk tricked Kayla B because check this out, y'all. Just use y'all common sense. If Vaughn loses his life and Kayla B supposed to be Vaughn, sister, sister, this and that and all, I don't care what you're talking about. If Vaughn loses his life, y'all, right? Use your common sense. Why would 21 Savage give, why would 21 Savage give Kayla B a Range Rover. He's supposed to give her the Range Rover because he felt sorry because Vaughn died. No, anybody in their right mind will probably more than likely leave Vaughn kid some or give Vaughn the give Vaughn's mother the Range Rover. I'm sitting there like, why do Caleb B get a Range Rover? This is what I was telling them when I was proving to them why Caleb B was given that Range Rover. And another thing, how Dirk tricked her in, because all y'all got to do is go do the timeline and everything and check it out. Right when Vaughn died. Dirk them had her go over there and get that hard drive. She said it out her mouth. Y'all know who I gave the hard drive to 
Vaughn's hard drive with all his music. Now, check this out. Then, right after that, then they get to throwing it up to my 21 Savage gives Kayla B um, a Range Rover because her brother passed away and all that stuff. And then, the next day, 50 Cent took a picture with her, and this is how Dirt got her. You see what I'm saying? This is how Dirt got Kayla B. And when Kayla B got mad, what did Kayla B do? She went up there, did an Instagram, and said none other but Dirk sacrificed her brother. Kayla B got mad, and y'all know how them women be when they just spent all their little money and they look cut and everything. She still see Dirk doing his thing, and she got up there and bust them out. But she wasn't busting them out to me because I already knew right what happened. This is why Dirk was keeping all the little OTF guys to the back. And all you heard them um, screaming when Vaughn was living was O Block, O Block, O Block, because Dirk already knew that Vaughn was finna lose his life. They was finna set um, O Block up for all these murders and all this stuff like that, and, and racketeering and stuff like that. Then he knew him and OTF would be running around. Bezu was with the play. This is why Bezu getting his interviews and things like that, allegedly showing his face. Now, everybody around Dirk knew what was going on. And he's saying that in bars why boo up in the video. And please hit that like button if you understand what I'm saying and you following me. You see what I'm saying? I told my PO I get high as and she said how high I said high as duck. Now check this out. This is the song that Mama Duck that they trended everywhere right after the Dirk said that Mama Duck started trending everywhere because they already knew how it was going to happen. Dirk was going to put it in the song. It so happened that he's talking about Duck with these bars in there. Then he flashing Moo-Wop all in the camera out there. Then you got... Um, this is when Mama Duck was going at um, Dirk, and the next thing you know, she getting all type of interviews talking about um, Dirk this, Dirk that. And I'm, that's when I kept saying in all my videos, like, no, um, they're going to try to pin this body on some shorties from the rack. Why don't you just go down there and get the video? You so worried about everything that Dirk saying in his music and videos and stuff like this. But this is why she was paying attention to everything that uh, and Dirk was doing. I told y'all it was all a shenanigans and a fiasco, but this is why she was paying attention because <clears throat> what Dirk is talking about in this rap right here when Muwap is out is he's talking about the whole Rico indictment. If you understand what I'm saying, Dirk is talking about the whole Rico indictment in his rap. And this is why Mama Duck was paying attention and all the rappers and blog and all the bloggers was paying attention as well because they was all set Muwap them up and this is part of the plan. Well, okay, you guys, here's the kicker. So you hear these bars that Dirk is spitting, right? You see he's blaming everything on Moo Wop and them, and you hear the bars. This is the whole Rico indictment that Dirk's spitting in these bars. So I'm thinking like this here, then, and only one smart person supposed to, only smart people supposed to think like this as well. So why isn't Dirk, Dirk on the stand? It seemed like Dirk know more about the bodies than trenches and butter know. So why isn't Dirk on the stand or why isn't Dirk on the case? You see, it's only two ways. It's only two things because allegedly Dirk is the top dude who's fuel, fueling all the madness and stuff like that. And he's the money guy. So that means he's the done dot of the top guy for all of these guys, you know, like Moo Wop and them and things of that nature like this. So why did they go out there the big man? Why would they go out there Moo Wop and them when they know they got a bigger case? if they get Dirk because evidently in all these bars that Dirk said spitting this is the same thing that's in the Rico indictment so why they didn't come get Dirk see this is what I want to know why they didn't come get Dirk because it seemed like he got a lot of information see because allegedly Trench is supposed to knew all this information was on social media and allegedly the feds were supposed to came and talk to him and made him start cooperating because he allegedly knew all this information well it seems like Dirk know more information than butter and trenches. But that's only common sense that Dirk would know more information than butter and trenches because butter and trenches is his op. And he was over there with Vaughn and he's over there with Moo Wop and them, you see? So if you're talking about it like this, just blatantly in your raps, because I know if I can dissect them, I definitely know the fans can dissect them as well. You see what I'm saying? And it's easy for them to dissect it because they'll have evidence to prove it too, you see? But I don't need no evidence to prove it. You know why? Because I'm proving it right here beyond a reasonable doubt. Now, if we were standing in front of a judge, who you think will win? Gang. But let me tell you why I will win that case, sir. Because the proof is in the pudding. 
See, Dirk, this is proof that you set me whopping them up and you told AK and them to do it and you was part of the play, Dirk. This this is proof right here. You know why? Because Muwap is still out right there on this video. But the strange part about it is everything you saying is the same thing that they're saying in this Rico case, you know, this racketeering and this murder of Carlton Weekly, right? Strange, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> And it's a no-brainer who he's talking about right there. He survived one to the head, but it's effed up his body. It's no-brainer who he's talking about. He's talking about FBG Wooski. But here we go again. Dirk is way from the dog pound. Dirk, you only signed Vaughn. And then you got that bogus case put on him so y'all can't be around each other no more. So how do you know that... They allegedly doing all these bodies because now you just say FBG Wooski and who all they get on social media and say that allegedly is responsible for FBG Wooski, right? The majority of the people, they have said several names, but the majority of the people said O Block. And this is what the majority of the country is thinking or the people who watch YouTube, they think it's O Block, right? So there you go again, painting this picture of O Block. You sound like trenches and butter, but you just rapping. But that's exactly who you is, trenches and butter. You just on the beach. You see what I'm saying? You remember this? DJ on the beat, and it's a banger, you know? And then you remember this one right here? I know she's raw. That's Duck's mother, right? Strange that you're snitching in the rap. Trenches and Butter is on stand, snitching on interviews with Cam Capone and DJ U. And also we have um, the YouTuber Trenches News, right? Also, you're telling the story rapping, right? Exactly what you're doing, because for some strange reason, Muwap is right there with you. Strange, isn't it? See, you guys, and you got to pay attention to what happened. Dirk is a real snake with it. You see what I'm saying? He's a real snake with it. Not only was he putting Muwap and them in the paint in this video, but he also um, inspired Mr. Pooh Shiesty to say some bars that Dirk just knew that he will never say in his life because Dirk knew he would have been fooled. But Dirk wanted to say it so bad, he let Pooh Shiesty say it. And um, what Pooh Shiesty did was he dissed um, 300. He dissed 300, you guys. He, 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 he dissed the gang. He dissed the gang in that video as well. So not only is Dirk putting Muwap and O-Block in the paint, you see what I'm saying? He's also um, dissing 300 in there as well. I'm going to let y'all listen to Pooh Shiesty's verse, and I want y'all to hit the like button if you think that Pooh Shiesty just dissed 300, and if you think that Dirk was behind the diss. I might not need to slam him out, just be yourself and stay 300. Strange. Hit the like button. If y'all think Pooh Shiesty diss game, and then hit the like button if you think Dirk was behind the diss, and I'm out. Oh, Dirk, I got a bonus one for you. Hey, you guys, I want y'all to check this out. Yeah. So for y'all don't know, don't know that's allegedly that pose right there, what Dirk just did, like had his hand in the air, then like he was shooting at the ground. This is Monazel and them took a picture like this, and this is what they were saying Monazel and them was doing. It was three of them taking a picture like they were shooting at the ground, and this is what they said they were standing over duck doing. This is why y'all got all those crazy stories about um, such and such was standing over duck, spitting on them. Um, Teasy was standing over them. C Murder was standing over them. Listen, for that what Dirk just did right there, that's in the federal paperwork, you guys. You see what I'm saying? So it's a hundred bazillion, gazillion percent fact that little Dirk was a part of the play and he snitched on Muwap and he helped the federal government gang.